and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Porsche Centre Reading. Now there's a slight situational update here at Reading. You'll notice that this probably isn't what you've seen at this place before. That's because they're going through a huge refurb. More on that in a second. We'll go to Hanover Bay and we will go and collect my 992 Turbo S. Before we get going then I just want to show you this thing here because this has turned up to my collection. This is none other than the classic giveaways 968 in Amazon green this then ladies and gentlemen if you've been living under a rock or you don't follow me on instagram is the classic giveaways 968 that means i will be personally handing over this car to someone very very soon tickets are only a few quid and if you use the code on the screen you'll actually get even more money off the listed price as well it is an amazon green which is an extraordinarily rare color it's this bluey green color manual 968 cab very fitting for today because I'm here collecting a cab and very fitting particularly as it is actually the 30th anniversary of the 968 and these things are going through the roof at the moment. Anyway, you can win this for a few quid with classic giveaways. The website's on the screen, the code's on the screen. Go and save some money and get in the mix and good luck. It's a manual 968 cab. You've got back seats in there as well. You just don't see any of these anymore this will be drawn very soon and regardless of how many tickets sell it will be drawn and someone will be handed this car in person by myself at a very famous location we've already handed over a 944 turbo we've handed over a carrera 4 in green at cafe machine we've also handed over a defender very recently as well and this is the next car available to win anyway for now we're going to jump in we're going to go to handover bay we're going to go and check out my 992 turbo s so let's go Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Here is my 992 Turbo S. I just took it out there to get it into the light and out of the copyright infringing music in there. So I'm gonna walk around the spec very quickly then. We've got GT Silver exterior. We've got the all important aero kit, which actually is these little flicks here. It changes the front end to give you a gap here between the two. Ordinarily, that is actually filled in with paint along the bottom. So it gives you a gap there, it gives you these flicks on the side, and there's also a difference at the back there, which we'll get around to in a second. So GT Silver, Aero Kit. We've got the exclusive wheels in silver, which nobody really does. Usually people get the black finish with the polished front lip, which I did actually on my uh, black Coupe Turbo S, which wasn't actually my spec. And I've gone for black calipers. They are PCCBs, they are ceramic, the incredible new ceramic brakes on this Turbo S, but they are in black, not yellow, because it would look a bit Ronald McDonald if I left it with yellow calipers. Coming around the car then, I've opted for this kind of almost speedster-esque, the sort of vintage heritage black PPF section here. This is not SunTech PPF, uh, but this is actually an option on the Porsche configurator. And I've also opted to get the side skirts painted as well. I'm not sure if that's actually part of the aero kit, Coming around the back of the car then, you'll obviously see that the roof is in red, which I think works really, really well, if I do say so myself. And the aero kit here is evident with the flick there as well. It's just that extra bit of aggression. And actually, that is a really rare option now. It's no longer available on the configurator. It was on there briefly, and then they took it off again. Current estimates, if you want an aero kit cab, you are looking at 2023 if you wanted to order one now, if at all. Um, they don't know where the aero kit's coming back, and by the time it does, so yeah, it might be 2023, 2024, so very rare option, when even more so coupled with the square tips here. So I've long been a believer that the kind of circular sports exhaust from Porsche doesn't actually look that good. It looks a little bit Audi to me, and I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it at all. To me, the new gen Turbo S's always should have these square tips, and these are actually the standard option. So these are free, this option here, and I will fiddle with the exhaust with the guys at JCR, the magicians that did some wonderful work on my 997. Also on the back here, other options that I could have messed around with. Uh, the 911 Turbo S badge here, I just went with chrome. Uh, a little bit boring. I could have gone uh, body colored or I could have just gone for a bog standard 911 badge, but I left it. Uh, it's actually a bit busy. I might just change that to the 911 one. Easy thing to change though, should I want to. The other thing as well, controversially that I did, these lights here, and I'm not a fan of it usually, but these are actually the exclusive option rear lights. So 
ordinarily they come um, with a red bar around it but I just thought there'd be too much red going on and it just made the back end just that little bit cleaner and um, so what they've actually done now is it's monochrome the actual plastic and the color of the lensing it's all kind of monochrome on the back there I just think it's a little bit cleaner particularly as these down here are red as well there was just too much red with the brake light and this and the, and the roof it was too busy anyway so I opted for the exclusive rear light. Something else to note as well, you're wondering why on earth is that 911 plate on there? In the rush today, I actually left my TG TV plate at home that I was coming to stick on the car. So this is just a holding one. Uh, it will actually be T9 e TV, the same plate that was on my Carrera T. So that will be going on the car, but there's a bit more of a backstory uh, behind today that maybe I'll get into at some point. Coming into the car then. This is where it gets aggressive ladies and gents. Inside here then, the tendency I think with these things is to go carbon, 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 carbon with everything, but I've actually not done any of that jazz. I've not wasted any money on trinkety stuff. I've put Porsche Crest in the headrest then and I've removed the Turbo S. I've not gone for silliness on the center tunnel there. You couldn't option folding buckets on this. You could either go for these uh, sports seats or fixed buckets. You couldn't option folding buckets, which is potentially what I would have done. I've gone then in here I'll turn this off because we've got the side lights on. So in here then, this is actually a change over and above my coupe. This is the MY22 variant Turbo S. So they've actually updated the 992 Turbo S already. This has actually got a new infotainment screen in there as well. There's various like, software differences. There's actually a different PCM in here already. So the early Turbo S's have actually got a different PCM to here and that's to do with kind of the price increase and whatnot. You'll also see there's red stitching throughout and originally my spec actually chose to do a red dash but I just last minute changed it. I thought it's going to be too aggressive driving along with the red reflecting in the dashboard my f12 is actually dark red inside with a black dash and it works well so I thought if it ain't broke don't fix it other things to note in here as well I've gone heated steering wheel which gives you a little button in there we've gone leather on the steering wheel because I just think turbo s is deserve leather and not Alcantara everywhere it's a bit more of a cruiser and so I didn't do any kind of race text material and in the back here then in my original spec, I actually optioned these to be red leather on the back with a GT Silver insert in the back. Uh, for whatever reason, this configuration doesn't actually have that done. I think, I think I know why. I messed around with it and I just forgot to add them back on, but no biggie. Uh, D-Class can sort that if I decide in the end that I actually want that done. See the seatbelt's been digging in there, lovely stuff. Right, I think it's time then to get the roof off. So the theory goes then, you can take the roof off with the key. So let's give that a go. You gotta hold it down. Here we go. Ah, oh, look at that, ladies and gents. That is hell. So cool. I know some of you are on the fence about cabs. I know, I know, I know. But having the AMG GT Roadster for a while has just made me absolutely love cabs. And the fact there's seats in the back, I know, albeit not big ones, is just such a cool car. It's all things to all men. It just does absolutely everything. Do you know what's even cooler? Having these two cars here together. It's absolutely sick. Two different eras of Porsche, but just that unmistakable. DNA so so sick I'm over the moon with how this came out I know I took a bit of a risk getting GT silver with red but I just absolutely love the configuration it reminds me of the RS60 Spider, and actually it's kind of a retro Porsche vibe I do apologize for the noise here it's kind of a building site at the moment they're moving into their new showroom here hence this kind of temporary handover bay Apologies for the mother's meeting that's going on there as well. They're talking all things cars. But yes, very, very exciting. Absolutely over the moon with this thing. And as I've said, this 968 cab, the, the only one in the UK, this 968 cab manual is now available to win for a few quid over on Classic Giveaways right now. It's just sick, absolutely sick. And the only one in the UK, if not Europe, in this configuration it's a really nice it looks blue on camera but it's actually a really sort of dark deep green so so sick right then guys this would be the point of the video whereby i drive out in the car however i have a confession to make 
I did not sign my documents in time in order for the funding to clear. So I booked the handover, I booked all the jazz to go along with it, I booked someone to give me a lift down here, and I booked everything, and I didn't sign the documents in time. So actually the guys at Charles and Dean will be paying for this car tomorrow, uh, and I'm filming the video today, so I'm actually gonna have to come back tomorrow and get it done then. But for various reasons, I can't film tomorrow. So you got the video today. I've come down today. I was coming to Reading anyway. I booked other things in this part of the world. Uh, it all had to happen today, basically, including the video. So at this point, I'm actually jumping back in my Range Rover. A little bit of a damp squib to end the video with there. Uh, but a huge thanks to the guys at Charles and Dean anyway. If you want a car funded, get in touch with them. And a huge thanks also to Reg Transfers. As always, with my private plates, I get asked the whole time, where do I buy my plates? Not the bits of plastic, but the actual registrations themselves. I've got eight private registrations. Big up Reg Transfers. Thank you very much to them as well. And if you want to win the 968 for a few quid, the 968 cab, for a few quid, make sure you enter whilst you still can with classic giveaways. Time is running out on that, so get in the mix with that, and good luck. I will see you all very soon for the first drive in my 992 Turbo S. For now, guys, thank you very much. From Porsche Reading, see you soon. Bye.